What's going on guys? Today we're out on a range and I've got something pretty cool from Live Free Armory. It's the amp. You can see when you get it, it comes in this nice savior equipment bag with your Live Free Armory amp patch. Now inside the bag, in your front pouch, you just get uh, some extra fiber optic rods, the thing to download your owner's manual, some freedom lube, and a gun lock. But in this pocket, where the magic is. First of all, it comes with two 15 round P-Mags. I've got some extras in here. And also, you get the pistol. Now it's available in a few different colors. Mine is a flat dark earth. Now I have upgraded a few things on this gun. I've added the lock grips. Now these are available from Live Free Armory. They're a G10 grip, they're very nice grips. I'll show you here in a minute what the original grips look like. And then I've also added some excess sights, minimalist suppressor height Glock sights, see them? And a Swamp Fox Optics Liberty Red Dot. Now that's all I've done to it. And one of the neat things about the amp is it's actually a fire control unit, much like a SIG P320 or several other guns. So you've got the removable fire control unit. So this is not available yet to be purchased, but you can buy the other size frame because they also offer this in an Amp X. Now these are the stock factory grips here that it comes with. And you can see you can just change that out and you got that. And they will offer these separately, I'm told. It's just going to be a little while till they get all the orders caught up on the Amps and the Amp Xs before they start selling them separately. But I'll switch this out here in a little bit and we'll do some shots with the Amp X. I haven't put this frame on it yet. And it uses 17 round P-Mags. So, let's take some shots with it, see how it does. Apparently I can't hit with it. See how many more loaded mags I have. I think I have one left. No, I'm out. Well, I gotta load mags. I'll be back in just a second. All right, got a few more mags loaded up. This is just some random other ammo. I think this is some Fiocchi. And I've got some Agula or Aguila or however the crap you say it. Um, 124 grain. I think I have a few 147 grains that are in that box. So, well, I know they are. So we'll see how these do. One more mag here. I'm gonna change the cameras around and shoot a few more through it. All right, so now I've got it converted to the Amp X frame, which is the full size frame, like I said earlier, 17 round Glock mags, and still the aluminum frame. Things all the same. Now I do have my TLR 7A on this one, but we're gonna try it out, see how it does. But I really like this grip, but I also carry a Glock 45, so 
I do like the size of this grip and it feels really good in my big old hands. And let's shoot it a little. Runs really good. Now one thing I didn't mention, and I'll show you in a second, but uh, it, this does fit like the Glock 19 size holsters. This is the UM Tactical holster for the uh, for the Glock 19 with the TLR7A. You can see it fits it perfect, locks in good, and just fits those just perfect. Let's run another mag to it. Yeah, I really like the uh, 17 round frame a little better, I think. One thing I will say though, is it does use different grip panels. The other ones are angled a little, whereas these are straight across the bottom. So you can't just interchange your grips really, because I'd really like to have my lock grips on this one, but I believe they are gonna make those or already are making those for the Amp X also. Okay. Now, as far as when you go to convert this to the other grip frame, really easy, takes about three minutes, Five minutes at the most you do pull the grip panels off there's a pin behind them and then you've just got this pin here and then this little roll pin up here it takes about 15 minutes longer if you drop this little roll pin it rolls across your floor and you have to find it which is what i did but it's not that big of a deal though it was really easy to convert and you just pop that whole fire control unit out pop it in the other frame and put your slide back on i'll go over a few of the problems it had or the problem it had it was hanging up and i'll insert some footage in here but it was hanging up and failing to extract so anyways i kept thinking maybe it was an ammo issue i cleaned it done all that ran some different ammo because i was it was running fine with like some sig v crown or something hotter or any 124 grain ball ammo was running fine but it wasn't extracting the uh cheaper it was herders is what i was running which is what i'm running now the 115 grain herders it wasn't extracting it well i kept doing it kept doing it and the extractor after I was shooting for a little bit, the extractor actually exited the gun. I mean, it broke in half and was gone. And I contacted Live Free about it and talked to them. I know those guys pretty well. Super guys, great company. And I knew they'd take care of it, whatever. But we got another extractor, put another extractor in it. It was fine. And they ended up, apparently they were getting these extractors from somewhere. Now they're making them themselves, so they don't have any issues with them breaking anymore. But it actually broke a little piece off in the gun. I had to fish it out. But after that, it's been flawless. They're super helpful to take care of any problems. If you wanna learn some of the specs on the AMP, which by the way, AMP stands for Aluminum Match Pistol, I didn't say that before, or wanna pick one up or anything like that, check out Live Free Armory's website. You can Google that, I'm not gonna say it on here, so YouTube don't hate on that. But you can go to their website, you can check it out. They have the AMPs, the AMP X is there. Like I said, in future times, they will have the AMP X frame. So if you buy the AMP, you can put the other frame on it or vice versa. And that's pretty exciting to me, I like the, the fire control units changeability that's a big thing to me so yeah be sure to check them out and if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you're new here and think i've earned it consider subscribing and if you think someone else will enjoy it or get some good out of it make sure you share it out that helps more than anything and i'll see you on the next one